Hello YouTube, good afternoon. Starting the eastern side of the perimeter trail. Yeah, I'm not even going to estimate the mileage, but it's it's significantly shorter than the other side of the park. Then stopped by for a video of Horseshoe Falls. Yep, the yellow perimeter trail. This is... It branched so... The other side of the park is where the Buckeye Trail um, is at here. Gorgeous views of the lake once again. Somebody down there fishing, looks that way. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, this side of the trail, I, as far as I can recall, was a lot easier, and of course it's a shorter distance than it is. <clears throat> Good bench guardrail for with a fence. Obviously, they don't want people climbing over that. That's why it's there. May do a video of horseshoe falls and then flat fork and then. How you doing here? That's my first name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Area closed. We are allowing the vegetation to regrow. So obviously an area where the deer had obviously done some damage. This park is, I believe, close to 4,000 acres. It's a massive area to manage. So their bow hunting program is obviously much more extensive than what Five Rivers is. Because this is about twice the size of any of their parks. I believe Anglewood is their biggest park around 2,000 acres so they got a lot more land to manage here than what they than what they've got at any of the metro parks in one park could buy now of course the metro parks they have probably well over 10,000 acres to protect because Yeah, it's been gorgeous wall-to-wall -wall sunshine and not a cloud to be found 
who are entering the site. Here's a view of the lake again. I believe you can collect fossils and mushrooms in this area, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, another beautiful view of the lake. Caesars Creek Lake. That one side of the trail, it seemed like it took forever to get around that, that side of the trail. Maybe dog tracks, maybe coyote tracks, deer tracks there. Maybe a coyote track, I don't know. It rained a few days ago, but the trail is in really good shape and it's kind of harder to see the tracks with the uh, leaves covering the trails anyways <clears throat> Yeah, this section is a little bit more muddy right here, but that's okay though. If you don't like mud, you shouldn't hike. I don't think I'll ever get to feature this park on my YouTube page as extensively as I've done with Germantown, Taylorsville, and Twin Creek because I just don't get down here often enough. But this is a second set of videos, so I don't know if you guys will see when I'll get a chance to see some other videos down here. Because I imagine the roads to get down here, especially if it snows in the wintertime because it's out in the country might be a little bit more difficult. You know, at the end of the day, take a nice shower, throw my clothes in the washer. Then I'll enjoy probably the Sunday evening football game, whatever that is. But I'm not really worried about football today. If I was, I wouldn't be here. Look at these crystal blue skies. Yep, wall to wall, wall to wall sunshine the entire day. Tell you, these are the type of days you live and die for to be in the woods on a day like this. Look at that blue sky. Wow. I didn't see any trail markings, so.
That's it for this one.